our sun. It gives us life. It is the heart of our solar system, a massive ball of burning gas that has been shining for over 4.6 billion years. Every day, it rises in the east and sets in the west, a constant presence in our lives. Its light and warmth are essential for life on Earth, driving the processes that sustain our ecosystems and weather patterns. It bathes our planet in warmth, nurturing the plants that provide us with oxygen and food. The sun's energy is harnessed by solar panels, powering our homes and cities. It influences our climate and weather, creating the seasons that define our year. Without the sun, Earth would be a frozen, lifeless rock drifting through space. But the sun also holds a secret, a power to unleash chaos on a scale we can barely imagine. This power lies in its ability to produce solar storms, massive eruptions of plasma and magnetic fields that can travel through space and impact our planet. These storms are caused by the sun's magnetic field becoming twisted and tangled, releasing vast amounts of energy in the form of solar flares and coronal mass ejections. In 1859, the Earth received a stark warning. On September 1st and 2nd, a massive solar storm, the largest in recorded history, slammed into our planet. This event, known as the Carrington Event, was named after the British astronomer Richard Carrington, who observed the solar flare that preceded the storm. A massive solar storm, the largest in recorded history, slammed into our planet. The storm caused spectacular auroras that were visible as far south as the Caribbean. Telegraph systems across Europe and North America failed, with some operators receiving electric shocks and telegraph pylons sparking and catching fire. We call it the Carrington Event. It was a wake-up call, showing us the immense power of our star and the potential consequences of its outbursts. The event highlighted the vulnerability of our technological infrastructure to solar activity, a lesson that remains relevant today. This wasn't just a celestial light show, it was a taste of what our star is truly capable of. The auroras were so bright that people could read newspapers by their light, and the night sky was filled with colors and patterns that seemed otherworldly. It was a taste of what our star is truly capable of. The Carrington event showed us that the sun is not just a benign source of light and warmth, but a dynamic and sometimes dangerous force. Solar storms can disrupt our technology, affecting everything from power grids to satellite communications. Imagine the entire world plunged into darkness, our technology crippled. A Carrington-level event today could cause widespread blackouts, disrupt GPS and communication systems, and damage satellites and spacecraft. The economic impact could be devastating, with losses running into trillions of dollars. That's the potential reality if a Carrington-level event were to happen today. Our modern society is heavily dependent on technology, making us more vulnerable to the effects of solar storms. Preparing for such an event is crucial to mitigate its impact and ensure the resilience of our infrastructure. It's a sobering thought, a reminder of our place in the cosmic order. We are at the mercy of the sun's whims, and our advanced technology cannot shield us completely from its power. Understanding and monitoring solar activity is essential for predicting and preparing for future solar storms. But the story of the Carrington event isn't just about fear, it's about understanding. By studying past events and improving our knowledge of the sun, we can develop better ways to protect our technology and infrastructure. Scientists around the world are working to improve our ability to predict solar storms and mitigate their effects. It's about preparing ourselves for the inevitable tantrums of our nearest star. With continued research and investment in space weather forecasting, we can build a more resilient society ready to face the challenges posed by our dynamic and powerful sun. The year is 1859. The world is on the cusp of great scientific discoveries, and the field of astronomy is no exception. In this era, the mysteries of the cosmos are slowly being unraveled by dedicated individuals who spend countless nights peering through their telescopes, charting the heavens. A young astronomer named Richard Carrington is engrossed in his work. Carrington, a passionate and meticulous observer, has dedicated his life to studying the sun. Unlike many of his contemporaries who focus on distant stars and galaxies, Carrington's gaze is fixed firmly on our own star. He's not looking at distant stars but at the very heart of our solar system, the sun. The sun, with its fiery surface and mysterious sunspots, holds a particular fascination for him. These sunspots, dark and cooler regions on the sun's surface, are a puzzle he is determined to solve. Carrington was no ordinary sky watcher. 
He was meticulous, a dedicated observer of the sun. His private observatory, filled with the latest instruments of the time, became his sanctuary. Here he spent hours each day, carefully recording his observations and making detailed sketches of the sunspots he saw. In his private observatory, he meticulously tracked sunspots, those dark, cooler regions on the solar surface. He noted their positions, sizes, and movements, hoping to uncover the secrets they held. His dedication to this task was unwavering, and his records were among the most detailed of his time. Little did he know his patient observations were about to etch his name in history. His work, which he pursued with such passion and precision, was about to lead to a groundbreaking discovery. A discovery that would not only change our understanding of the sun, but also highlight the potential dangers it posed to our planet. On September 1st, 1859, Carrington witnessed something extraordinary. As he observed the sun that day, he saw something that no one had ever recorded before. It was a moment that would forever be etched in the annals of astronomical history. Two brilliant points of light, intensely bright, appeared within a large sunspot group. These points of light were unlike anything he had seen before. They were so bright that they stood out starkly against the dark sunspots, capturing his full attention. He knew this was no ordinary solar flare. The intensity and brightness of these points of light suggested something far more significant. Carrington's mind raced as he tried to comprehend what he was witnessing. He quickly made detailed notes and sketches, knowing that this observation was of immense importance. This was something far more powerful, something potentially dangerous. The energy released by these flares was immense, and Carrington realized that it could have far-reaching effects. He understood that this was not just a scientific curiosity, but a phenomenon that could impact the Earth itself. He had just witnessed the first sign of the approaching solar storm, a storm that would soon bear his name. This event, now known as the Carrington Event, would become one of the most significant solar storms in recorded history, demonstrating the profound influence our sun can have on our planet. It began subtly. Just 17 hours after Carrington's observation, the first whispers of the solar storm reached Earth. Our planet's magnetic field, our shield against the sun's fury, began to tremble. Then, all hell broke loose. The sky erupted in a kaleidoscope of color. Auroras, usually confined to polar regions, blazed with impossible intensity, visible as far south as the Caribbean. People were astonished, terrified. Some thought the world was ending, but the spectacle was just the beginning. The storm's true power lay not in its beauty, but in its invisible force. A surge of charged particles, a tsunami of energy slamming into Earth's magnetic field. This was no ordinary solar wind. This was a cosmic hurricane. Section 4. Telegraph Chaos and Auroral Wonders The world of 1859 was a far cry from our own. Electricity was in its infancy, used primarily for communication via the telegraph. But even this nascent technology felt the wrath of the Carrington event. Telegraph systems went haywire. Sparks flew from equipment, shocking operators. Systems failed, plunging communication into chaos. The world was literally and figuratively disconnected. Yet, amidst the disruption, there was beauty. The auroras, more vivid than anyone had ever seen, danced across the sky in an ethereal ballet of light. Newspapers reported on the phenomenon, marveling at the spectacle. Some saw the event as a harbinger of doom. Others, a breathtaking display of nature's power. Little did they know, the true impact of the Carrington event was yet to be fully grasped. Section 5. Modernity's Greatest Threat? Today, our world is awash in electricity. We rely on a delicate web of interconnected grids, satellites, and communication systems, all vulnerable to the whims of space weather. A Carrington-level event today wouldn't just be an inconvenience, it would be a catastrophe. Imagine the power grids collapsing, cities plunged into darkness, satellites falling silent, GPS systems failing, communication networks crumbling, financial transactions grinding to a halt. The economic impact would be staggering, potentially trillions of dollars in damage. But the human cost is even more concerning. Lives depend on our electrical infrastructure, hospitals, transportation, even our food supply. The Carrington event wasn't a one-off. It was a stark reminder that our technological civilization is built on a foundation vulnerable to the very forces that govern the cosmos. Section 6. Shielding our electric world. 
The good news is, we're not defenseless. Scientists around the world are working tirelessly to understand and predict space weather. We have a fleet of spacecraft constantly monitoring the sun, watching for signs of solar storms. We're also developing early warning systems, giving us precious time to prepare. Power grids can be strategically shut down, satellites can be put into safe mode, and critical infrastructure can be protected. But preparedness goes beyond technology. It requires raising public awareness, educating people about the very real threat of space weather. Just as we prepare for hurricanes and earthquakes, we must prepare for the storms from space. Section 7. The Sun, Friend and Foe The Sun, our closest star, is a magnificent ball of plasma that has been burning for over 4.6 billion years. It is the source of all life on Earth, providing the energy necessary for plants to grow, for weather patterns to form and for the climate to sustain itself. Without the Sun, life as we know it would not exist. The sun, the giver of life, also holds the potential for destruction. Its energy is both a blessing and a curse. While it nurtures the earth, it also has the power to unleash devastating solar storms that can disrupt our modern way of life. These storms, caused by solar flares and coronal mass ejections, can interfere with satellite communications, power grids, and even pose a threat to astronauts in space. The Carrington event, a cosmic wake-up call, reminds us of this duality. In 1859, a massive solar storm hit Earth, causing widespread telegraph system failures and even setting some telegraph stations on fire. It was the most powerful geomagnetic storm on record, and it serves as a stark reminder of the sun's potential to disrupt our technological infrastructure. It forces us to confront our vulnerability, our dependence on technology, and the delicate balance we strike with the forces of the cosmos. In today's world, where we rely heavily on technology for communication, navigation and daily activities, a similar event could have catastrophic consequences. Our power grids, GPS systems and even the internet could be severely affected, plunging us into chaos. But it also inspires us. The challenges posed by the sun's unpredictable behavior drive scientists and engineers to innovate and develop new technologies to protect our planet. From advanced satellite systems that monitor solar activity to research labs working on ways to shield our infrastructure, the quest to understand and mitigate the sun's impact is ongoing. It drives us to explore, to understand, to protect ourselves from the unknown. The study of solar physics has led to significant advancements in our knowledge of the sun and its behavior. By observing solar flares, sunspots and other phenomena, scientists can better predict solar storms and develop strategies to minimize their impact on Earth. The story of the Carrington event is ultimately a story of resilience, a testament to our ability to adapt and overcome even the most daunting challenges. It highlights the importance of preparedness and the human spirit's capacity to recover and rebuild. As we continue to advance technologically, we must also ensure that we are ready to face the challenges posed by our closest star. As we venture further into the cosmos, relying ever more heavily on technology, we must never forget the lessons of the Carrington event. Our journey into space and our increasing dependence on technology make it imperative that we remain vigilant and proactive in protecting our planet from solar threats. For in understanding the sun's fury, we learn to live in harmony with its power. By harnessing solar energy and developing technologies to mitigate its destructive potential, we can ensure a brighter, more resilient future for all of humanity.